Hey guys, Wade here. Hey, I'm going to give you another update, and this is on the pitch trim actuator. I thought I had a pretty good install. I was on mod 3. I've got the canard on, as you can see, so that I could get a good configuration on the Vance Atkinson pitch trim actuator. Here you can see it here. Since I need clearance, uh, I have to turn this motor sideways. And because of the way this guy right here works, since this would go up and down normally, it has to be attached to this swivel bracket right here, which is then attached to the actual bracket there. Well, the problem that I'm running into right now is when I throw the controls forward and back you can see that there's a shifting here I'm going to try to get this into the so that's not too bad now watch where it attaches as far as the pitch term actuator attaches to the elevator control tube when I pull this back see how that shifts so forward isn't isn't bad but when I come back on the stick that shifts and I'm sure that shifting motion is going to be motion lost as far as um, I have auto trim with uh, my trio autopilot so I'm to get here so you can see some uh, see this from this angle down here so there's that so this right here um, this little bracket right here uh, Marco made that and I think it would work great if this uh, actuator system right here wasn't a hair off the center line but with it being off center line a little bit when it moves uh, I can see when it pushes as far as it as it as far as when I hit the trim button here up and back I can see when this tries to push and it shifts like that, there could be a, a loss of motion there. So, uh, I'm going to play around with this a little bit more. I think what I might have to do is mess with this bracket right over here and actually uh, shift this so the end down there comes down just a hair and I'll twist it just a little bit and then I'll do the original type of install that Vance Atkinson did where I'll pull this bracket off here and then I'll actually put a bolt through here this is about two inches right here it's supposed to be about an inch and a half where Vance uh, suggests but he as far as Vance Atkinson actually has his actuator going pretty much straight out where this is tilted up so it, it's got a good angle at least I think it does, but uh, I can see where this is becoming a little bit, uh, maybe becoming a little bit of a problem child. Again, I'll do this right here. You can see where that's twisting. So, uh, um, a little bit of uh, kind of a funny thing there. I put that uh, um, that hard stop up there, and uh, when I was moving the controls a little bit earlier. I forgot that I put that hard stop there and I was thinking, oh no, my elevator control is hitting the back of F-22 for a second and then I realized, oh wait, I put that uh, control stop in there. So this is my system so far. Um, I put this box in here to keep the this tube from flopping over, otherwise the thing just kind of wants to flop. But, uh, so that's it right now. Uh, I'm, so I'm going into mod 4 on this thing. I'm going to tweak it. I'm going to try to do all I can to keep this guy right here up front. Because I like the weight being up here. And I like to, if I can get this thing uh, and I can keep it in the nose, I will. If not, I may do what uh, Dave Barinholtz and some other folks are doing. A lot of the folks with the strong pitch trim system I know they either mount it right behind 
the seat bulk head or right in this area right here. I may have to do that. I'm going to try not to, especially because with my um, intercom system right here, this is where my plugins are going to be for my headset. I want to try to keep any motor noise out of there if possible. So, all right, so that's it. Uh, that's the update, and I'll uh, hopefully be providing you with another update soon showing this configuration right in here working better than it is right now. All right. Hey, thanks for watching. Take care. Cheers.